Hi guys and welcome back to the first 4040 squad builder of this week. A hell of a lot of people have hit the 40 out of 40 this weekend. Uh, me and, we could have been down to the extension but I know a lot of these ones, especially this one, was done before the cutoff, which would have been the Sunday but is extended to the Monday. So the team we're looking at today guys is a player called Omega9 Cody. Um, he's a player I never heard of until this weekend um, but he is uh, a very very good player as well on Xbox as well. Uh, so the second person to finish with 4040 on Xbox. Xbox. If you guys want to go and check out Cody, I'll leave a link to his Twitter down below so you can go and drop him a follow and uh, tell him well done on finishing 40 out of 40 for this weekend. So if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we're trying to hit over 5,000 likes, and if you guys do hit the 5,000 likes instantly, I will release the second 40 out of 40 squad builder guys of this week. So it's all down to you if you do want it. If not, it'll be released tomorrow. So you're going to get it anyway because I'm that type of nice guy. So the team that Cody's got, guys, stand Starts off with a very interesting starting 11, but I am going to show you what he moves into in game, and he does it instantly as well. And uh, it's something which I'm potentially going to take going into my weekend league next weekend. So, in the goalkeeper position, guys, he does start off in the La Liga. Um, where he goes with quite a low rated goalkeeper which is Navas and all these chem styles are correct bar the people on the bench guys and I think potentially one more but I will point out the chem styles which are wrong uh, as I uh, don't really want to be wasting stupid money on uh, chemistry cards uh, but I will explain it anyway guys in the centre back position on the left hand side you stick La Liga guys he goes with the 89 rated Sergio Ramos with a shadow chem style on him then he goes with Martinez Inago is it Inago Martinez or something like that um, it is the centre back from uh, Real Sociedad he is in there with a basic chem style and that's key uh, to what I'll show you at the end of the video in the right back position he goes with another player who has been used in the 40 out of 40 teams a few times it is DeMarcos with an 88 pace uh, 79 defense Ending. Um, all right, card, I suppose, so I can't complain about that. Now we move on to the centre and midfield, guys, and we do have first one being a Portuguese player in the middle, which is uh, Barcelona's uh, Gomez. Um, obviously, a fresh new transfer. Got a wicked shot as well, a very powerful shot from just outside the area. And then he's joined by another Real Madrid player. Um, uh, alongside Ramos, which is going to be Luka Modric, the 89 rated player with uh, the engine chem style on him. So you can see which way he's going and which players he's working towards doing, guys. Now you got to remember that I'm not building these teams to like show you guys that you should build them and play with them because I know they're ridiculously expensive and... Uh, and uh, People who are good at the game and uh, want to finish high up in foot champions, they will invest a lot of money into the game and a lot of money into the teams as well to finish 40 out of 40 as uh, potentially the rewards could be absolutely massive. Moving on into the right forward position, he has Vasquez. I bet you never thought that he would be using him <coughs> there, he would you guys, because Vasquez is one of the other players of a basic chem style and that's what you need to keep an eye out for the basic chem styles in the team. In the striker position, he goes with Maratta. Now we are going to use the one to watch Maratta because we've got him anyway and yet again he has a basic chem style on him it's obvious what's going to go down left forward Ronaldo with a hot chemistry style on as well guys uh, very very good player I've used him numerous amount of times 105 games 64 goals 29 assists um, but I actually scored a lot more goals with him in this formation um, which I'll show you in a second. Now, the final two players, guys, we are putting into the team. We are moving over to the Bundesliga, and uh, it's pretty easy who you can tell is going to be in there. First one is Renato Sanchez. He's one to watch card, even though it's his standard. 82 pace, 70 passing, 84 physical, with an uh, architect chem style on him. And the final player, guys, is going to be Alaba, 87 rated Alaba, jumping on into the team. So... This is the complete team which he starts a game with. 100 chemistry, everyone on full chem, and uh, looks pretty good. Looks very playable, but he changes it, and I will put it up quickly in case I do make a mistake, because I think I made a mistake last time. He changes it to the 4... Um, the 4 3 1 2. So he changes it to this formation. He takes out Maratta. Maratta is one of the subs which comes off. He replaces him, uh, say with Marco Royce. He replaces Vaz Vazquez with Bale. He then moves Bale into there. He moves Royce into Cam and then Ronaldo to finish off the key guys. Changes the team so it looks like that in game. Um, there is a chem style incorrect on uh, Royce because uh, it's a basic chem style he's got on him. And uh, there's one more player 
player as well with the incorrect chem style uh, on as well. I need to find out which one it is. Is it fin fin finish one bail he's got? And I think it was a sh he's got. Oh, and one more guys. It was Desai uh, jumping into the centre back position there to uh, finish a team. And he has actually got a shadow chem style on Desai, whereas I've got an anchor. So that's how he rocks the team, guys. This is a 40-40 team that he did smash the Xbox with this weekend. If you guys have enjoyed the video, leave a like rating, hit 5,000 likes, check out Cody. His link to his Twitter is down below. And let's go and get into the highlights we did manage to get with this 40 out of 40 team. So guys, rocking on with the team, it was actually refreshing and different as well because we were able to take the leads in the games before we actually made the substitutions for the first two games in a row. So that was pretty sweet. But once changing formation, it did take me a little bit to get used to it because you know I do play a wide formation, uh, being the wide person that I am. Um, I do very rarely rock with something very narrow. But with the players being narrow, very, very centred players uh, in the three in the middle and obviously one in the cam as well, and then two strikers. It's like a very, very straight formation. It's very easy to get the tick attacker up and running and uh, find open spaces and overlapping runs. So... I think, and it's not just the first time I've done this either, it's actually the set, I think the second or third time I've actually switched the formations uh, to show you guys how a team does operate. I think moving forward, you may potentially see me doing this itself within the Foot Champions uh, Weekend League because I want to win games and... When it comes to it, I'm not scoring enough goals. I'm not being able to pierce defences. But you're seeing how flooded the uh, how flooded the areas are being with the players. Different types of players all the time. Renato Sanchez getting on the score sheet. Uh, even the other two centre midfielders on the score sheet. When you wouldn't expect them to see them on the score sheet, you know. Uh, so it's definitely something I'm going to try and implement. And if you guys... Uh, as well, uh, do change formation within the game uh, before you start the game or just as you do get into the game and make substitutions like, substitutions like this, feel free to let me know. Now, the only downfall I am finding is I am not good enough to shut down a game within the first half, which is obviously what the pro guys are aiming to do. Shut down the game within the first half, make substitutions within the first five minutes, and then they're not affected by stamina. But a player like me who can't finish a game off in 90 minutes um, needs the stamina. I really do. Like You guys know the difference between a low stamina player and a high stamina player uh, when it comes to the end game because you are basically chasing um, it, it's chase, it's basically a snail and a rabbit in it it's like, like that chasing the defenders and the attackers and stuff uh, it can be a very frustrating manner so guys if you enjoyed today's 40 out of 40 squad builder feel free to leave a like rate and subscribe if you're not and go and check out Cody guys his link is down below and I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this team